Hi, welcome to another video. I'm at the Coachman 2025 preview, uh, as you'll see with the pics and what have you. Um, arrived here late, didn't realise the show was on today, so I've only got a couple of hours left, so I'm going to have to really rush around, it's as per normal. But I'm hoping to get a caravan dealer after this, maybe. Um, but anyway, we'll see how it goes, and this is basically the introduction to it, so let's see what they've got to show us. Well, I'm in an Arcadia 462, they've brought the 462 back again, which I'm really delighted because my first review of an Arcadia was the 462. Um, they told me it didn't sell very well, uh, and so that's why they dropped it, obviously. But now they've brought it back again, must have been demand. But what they've done with the Arcadia is they've given a refreshing up inside. Now, this looks quite modern. I'm just going to shoot around here in a minute. This looks quite modern. I'm going to take you around in a minute. But... To me, there's a certain amount of feeling that this van has been built down more to a price. I know they were getting more cost conscious, but there's a ways of doing it without letting the viewer, the buyer, know that there's actually a few little things have gone missing. But anyway, let's get on with the review. Right, <laughs> just saw one of my country and dealer guys there, and um, I won't name them, but he's thinking what I'm thinking straight away. Um, it just feels built down to a price, this, to be quite honest, but... And I hate to say that because I'm a coachman fan. So we've got the lounge, um, and he's even uh, light at the top here. Um, now there's no radio in this. There's no radio in it at all. That's gone. Um, you got these corner units. And I think this could be a bit. That's not what I expect from coachman normally. Just feels a bit flimsy. Maybe that's just me. Um, decent locker storage above. Shelves in there, of course, and a bit of storage underneath here. That all feels nice and quite solid. External table, of course, little coffee table, plug socket down there. Um, a little USB point there, and of course you've got the usual big um, sun sunroof there, which comes from do a good job, and also the hikey roof then. Right. Let's get into the kitchen. Right, I have to be fairly quick because I've got a young chap here from Glossop. He wants to take some photographs, so let's, you know, it's fair enough. Um, I don't want to hold anybody up who's doing it for a living, etc. Well, I'm doing this for a living, but different. Um, kitchen, decent storage again. Again, this flat. These cupboard doors just don't feel like coaching of, of the past. It's quite a modern look inside. I like that. Even this is somebody that remarked how thin that is as well. Big sink, of course. Still get your dual fuel hob. There's LED strip lighting under here, here. and again, a fairly decent storage space. Don't kind of like this bit here. It looks a bit sort of something from the 60s, 70s. It's a bit retro, I like retro, but it just seems a bit too retro for my liking. Um, yeah, your dual fuel hob in Thetford. And spin round here, you've got the latest fridge freezer, uh, storage here of course, and your side dresser, and of course uh, there's a microwave there, and it's a Russell Holmes one. Some more shelving here, your Aldi heating, which I first thought wasn't in, but it is in, um, so they've kept that. Um, and some storage has come here and a little bit of work surface there. Decent amount of work, so very practical kitchen, great for, for, for two people. Um, as I say, I don't know the weights of these. Um, this is June and I can't get anything really till August. And you'll start to see these videos. So it's quite spacious, uh, good storage. Sock it over here. Wash, uh, bathroom, uh, bathroom, kitchen area is, is, is looking fine. I don't like these plastic, plastic catches there. It's, again, it just says price cutting. But anyway, 
let's go in that bathroom. Let's do it in one take. No, that was the bathroom. Um, again, maybe not bad, it's quite nice. Um, wardrobe, another wardrobe on this opposite side here. Not a terrifically big wardrobe, but probably enough for most people's needs. Decent shower, of course. Nice, good quality shower in there. Couch shower is known for. A bit like Luna's were. And a little bit of extra storage there as regards wardrobe. Um, and probably this is where you put the table. Yeah, it is, and some shelving. So, instead of freshen up, uh, Aldi uh, chrome radiator there, Thetford Loo, and still a toilet uh, window. Let's have a summary. Right, this young chap wants to get in here. Um, the 462, new model for 2025. Um, glad to see it back. What do I think? Well, the Arcadia Rangers had this refresh inside. Um, it's a nice modern look, but it just doesn't feel quite as Coachman's were. Um, and I always thought the Arcadia range actually was produced quite a punch in regards to the good value. To me, you know, a 460, I'd have probably chosen the 460 Arcadia over a 460 VIP if I wasn't into sort of the VIP badge and a few extra bits and pieces. But now, I don't know, I just feel that this just doesn't feel the van that it should be. Um, I'm going to look at some more Arcadias. I'm going to look at the uh, some of the other vans. The VIPs and everything, there's not been much done with them at all. And same with the lasers, I think there's been a, a slight layout change. But coaching have been really steady away. It's only the Arcadias that we've actually done anything really with. Anyway, um, I don't know the prices yet. Um, but I would think prices will be kept fairly keen. But I think definitely there's been a little bit of cost cutting down. And that's, that's a shame. It might just put Arcadia buyers off. If you're a new caravan, you might still be thinking Coachman quality, which is Coachman are of course, but it doesn't feel the Coachman as it was. Um, I'm sorry to say that, because I really do like them. I like the van, just doesn't have that. I think you're going to have to sit in one and see one for yourself, see what you think. Anyway, I'm going to let this young chappy come in from Glossop. He wants to go and get some photographs and I'll uh, let him in because he's going to get wet out there. It's his rain again, typical sky style. Please keep watching, please keep subscribing. If you disagree with what I say, please tell me and that's not a problem and I'll give us your comments and, and what have you. See you on the next video. Bye for now.